Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So before getting into this, I want to tell you that I am going to make ethical hacking preparation videos guys. Completely based on NPTEL syllabus and specially designed for NPTEL students. So I am going to make MCQ practice MCQs, I mean videos, so you can get very good practice for your final exam. So guys, many people who are watching this video are students. So as a student offer, we are providing for just 89 rupees only guys. No one is providing these practice MCQs except our channel. So students cannot uh, bear much amount, right? So we are providing as a student offer for just 89 rupees. You know that without even 100 rupees, we can't even step out of the house, right? But we are providing as a stu for students just with 89 rupees only. So I will show you how to join in that. Go to our channel page guys. First of all, go to our channel page. It will be like this. Or you can directly click link in our description. I'll, I have given the link in the description. You can click on that. And it will uh, take you to this page. And click on join button here guys. Beside the subscribe button, there is join button right. So click on that. And there are three packs available. If you I mean if I upload any live videos, you can get through 119 pack. If you want only recorded videos, so just go to 18 pack and click on join and make a payment. That's it. You will become a member of our channel. You can first of all try to pay with your mobile phone guys. If it doesn't work, then only go to your laptop or PC. So by 119 pack, you can get all the benefits of remaining packs within this. That means it is all in one pack. I recommend this 119 pack guys for you. If you want only recorded videos, then you go to 89 per month pack and click on that. And the other benefit is not only the single ethical hacking course guys you can get all these courses i have uploaded many videos for members only course so you can get all these videos for single 89 per month pack only guys so hope you use this opportunity join in this fast guys so if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section so that's it with just 89 per month you can get 100 to 150 practice and secures purely based on NPTEL syllabus guys no outside syllabus and no nonsense completely NPTEL syllabus so that's it let's see the solutions now so this is weekly assignment of ethical hacking course so let's see the probable solutions for each and every question so first one first question which of the following are examples of steganography so for first question the probable answer is actually there are two probable solutions here guys first one is option a hiding some text information within an image file and the other one is hiding some text information within an audio clip so mark option a and b guys if you want to suggest me any solution you can do that in the comment section so if i get any update within this time i will also update in the comment section itself so before the final submission once again visit this video comments so that you can note if there are any changes available guys please watch full full video because if you skip you may not you may not able to get all the content i will say if i change any answer in between you may able to only note that if you watch full video so don't skip guys second question which of the following statements correctly represents the term steganography so for second question the probable answer is option d none of these so guys nothing will uh, be correctly represented so i think option d could be the probable answer now let's move on to the third one third one which of the following correspond to behavioral biometrics so for third question also option d is the probable answer so mark option d <coughs> let's move on to the fourth question fourth one so for fourth question 
the probable answer is option C. One million bits. So one million means ten lakhs. So mark option C. So moving on to the fifth one now. Fifth question. What is denial of service attack? So the for fifth question, the probable answer is option D. None of this. So mark option D. Now let's move on to the sixth one. Sixth question. Which of the following attacks refer to the situation where an attack attacker gains entry into the victim machine or spoofs the IP address and then send a ping request to a broadcast address? So for this type of attack, so for sixth question. The probable answer is option B. Smurf, Smurf denial of service attack. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the seventh question, guys. Without any late, let's move on to seventh question. So seventh one. Which of the following attacks rely on some vulnerability in the TCP connection establishment phase? So, for seventh question, the probable answer is option A, SIN, flooding attack. So, mark option A. Now, let's move on to the eighth question. Which of the following is or are true for botnet? So, for 8th question, the probable answer is Option A. A botnet refers to a host connected to the internet that is under control of the attacker. So, mark Option A. Now, let's move on to the ninth question, guys, without any late. So, before getting into this, I want to once again remind you that, guys, you can get 100 to 150 practice MCQs for just 89 rupees guys. So don't miss this opportunity already many people have already joined and continuing to join So be part of that those members and if it is your semester subject guys Make your classmates also join in this so that I can get better encouragement to do the better parts from the next Because I am making these videos in maybe two or four parts depending on the content two to four parts so give me encouragement to do the better parts from next by joining in bulk group guys because it is not only useful for you only if uh, it will be useful for your classmates also so do join in this and make everyone join in this so share the link i have provided in the description within your whatsapp groups and telegram groups guys so now let's see the ninth question answer so for ninth question the probable answer is Option A, a host may have to send multiple DNS requests to several DNS servers. So, with the question is, which is true for iterative name resolution? Op probable option is option A. Let's move on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th one. What is the full form of PGP? So, for 10th question, the probable answer is option C, pretty good privacy. So mark option C. So friends, these are the solutions for week 8 assignment of ethical hacking course. Guys, from week 1 onwards, I am giving these solutions. So with that hope, I am giving these ethical hacking practice MCQs also. Guys, with nearly 4 years plus experience, I am giving these solutions. So for just 89 rupees, you can get nearly 100 to 150 practice MCQs. So if you have any doubts regarding this, you can ask me in the comment section. For I will give a price for the valid queries. So don't hesitate to comment guys regarding this. So that's it for this video guys. Hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this to your friends also. So that's it guys. So until the next video, goodbye, thank you and please share this news to your friends also guys.